Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to quickly show you the difference between Git pull and Git fetch. Now, as you can see, I've actually got a GitHub repository here. I'm just going to clone it quickly. It's got nothing in it other than a readme. It's really not that interesting, but I want to bring it down onto my local machine. So I'll quickly do a Git clone. There it is, created right in there, pull versus fetch. I might even cd into that folder so i can see that i've got that readme file in there now i want to actually do a git pull first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a file to this remote repository i'll call it index.html why not that's sort of the standard file you create if you're creating web pages so i'll go commit new file and boom you can see that we've got that index.html file up on the server but you know what it's not on the client side, so how do I pull that down? So what I do is I do a git pull. I can say git pull origin if I want to be real fancy, but a git pull would do it. And boom, all of a sudden you see that index.html file is now on my local file system. There was a little bit of trickery in there if you didn't notice it. The file was actually also put into the repository on my local machine. So git pull puts a file not only into your local repository, but it also puts it onto your workspace as well. I think the technical term is working tree. Now that is the git pull. Now watch this. Here is the git fetch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another file. So I'll create a new file. I don't know, most web pages have an about page. So I'll do about.html. I'm a Canadian. People like this way that I say the word about. So there we go. About.html. Again, we don't have it on the client side. So watch this. Control L just to clean up my screen and I'm going to go git and then I'm going to go fetch and click enter and boom all of a sudden it says hey we actually just fetched from the server fetch from the remote repository but look at that index.html readme.md but where is the about.html file well it's on my local machine it's just not been put into my local workspace, my local working tree. That's what fetch does. It brings the files down to your local machine, but it doesn't merge them. And if you want to merge them in, you got to do it yourself. So you go get merge. And boom, all of a sudden you see that about.html file there. And uh, that's pretty awesome. So that brings it in. Now that's the key difference between your git fetch and your git pull. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Git, DevOps, Java, Python, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please subscribe on the YouTube.